What's up, YouTube? Coming to you here with a little bit of a kind of like a not a review, but like a kind of like a overall thoughts on the Under Armour Flawless Outfield Glove here. And because uh, I'm shipping it off, I sold it, so I'm shipping it. And I will say right away um, that I'm getting another Under Armour Flawless, but an infield glove. So I do like it. So um, this one right here is the 12 and 3 fourths model outfield. I got it used the model number there i got it used but i broke it in it was already being broken in so uh, it broke in decent broke in good for outfield but um the ball does skip out of it a little bit which kind of sucks so um that's kind of the main reason i'm getting rid of it here i'm going to go for the i believe it's 1175 single post under armor flawless and uh it's in a different colorway too you guys can see that when it comes but uh, I need it for, I play third base, you know, for softball. I th play third and second. And then when I play second, I got this. So I did have my black A2000 12 and 3 fourths, which I still kind of use at third. Well, I do use at third, but I've been using this at second. So getting it broken in. And, uh, but I do need a new third base glove because that A2000 is pretty old. So I'm going to go with the Under Armour Flawless. Just going to sell this. I, I love the leather. It's a hard, stiff, like kip feeling leather. Pretty sure it is Kip. But um, this is their glove that's equivalent to like an A2K Pro Preferred, that type of thing. Cool little design there on the wrist. I love the Under Armour patches. Very good quality. You know, none of the stitching's out of place. None of the stitching's popped. And I just throw this thing in and out of my bag. It's flat. It's got a very stiff heel still. It's very thick padding. But it's... uh. Like, the top part of it's getting broken in, which is also a reason why the ball pops out. So, it just needs to be worked in correctly. Um, you can see, you kind of see it there, flawless. Premium grade flawless leather. I don't know. My guess is Kip. It feels exactly like Kip leather. I don't exactly know, but you can do your research if you want to know. Um, it gets kind of hot that fur. It's really thick in there. But, uh. It's got like single rolled welting, which kind of helps the, the structure of the fingers, but it'd be nice if it had like dual welting like the Wilson's. Give it more of a curve. But hey, it's a good outfield glove for sure. I highly recommend it. It's got the H web there. Creates a good pocket. Here's a baseball, obviously what it's meant for. It's not even fully broken in and just swallows it up. So it's just like when I close it, like if I shake the glove, like it'll... the the ball will still roll a little bit. So it just needs to get worked in is all basically in here in the heels. You can see this is the part that stands up. So this just needs to get worked really good. So yeah, but it's got very stiff fingers. You don't have to worry about the ball coming off the fingers. They're super stiff, super strong pinky and thumb inserts. The thumb inserts pretty thick. The pinky one's about average, maybe a little thicker than average. Very thick palm. You don't feel any stingers. At least I don't. Um, it's a good looking glove, you know, it's not ugly. Yeah, I don't know, not much else to say. The finger pad's kind of pathetic, it's just literally a piece of leather. So I would kind of have, I wouldn't have that there if I was them. I would just take that off and leave it like a bare finger. But, um, I don't use it anyways. The leather itself is just super thick. The binding is thick. It's hard to even do, like, a finger out, because it just, it's really thick. But if you, I'm, I'm assuming if you just break in from the start with the finger out, it'll be okay. But I wanted to do two in the pink finger out, but I just can't because that's so thick. It just kind of bounces back up. So I'm going to tune the pink finger in and works. I only play catch. So I don't really use it in games because I don't trust it yet. But yeah, it's being sold. Got to go ship it out here today. So I, I didn't sell it for very much either. What did I sell it for? One sixty-five shipped. So I mean, it's a three hundred dollar, three hundred fifty dollar glove new, but you get them now for. You get them now, brand new for like two hundred, I think. On eBay, you can get them for two hundred, two fifty. So, um, I think the kid got a decent deal on it. It's a very good glove. It's gonna last him a long time. So, yeah. And then, video coming out on this here soon. This one's getting broken in, starting to feel really good, but that's for a different video. Yeah, that's the number flawless. I definitely, I definitely like it. I love the leather. I love how it feels like real leather. You know what I mean? Like real good leather. It's not too heavy, one more thing. You know, kind of trying to get the glove up quick here. It's not too heavy. 
it's definitely not that a2000 i used my black 17 89 or 99 i cannot remember the model it's been a long time since i've been into gloves but um that glove is heavy to get up and it's japan leather though so it's it's an older one with japan leather and that glove is a little heavier to get up at third for the hot corner and softball you know so uh, i did use this one i think in probably one to two games and i don't remember it you know me thinking my head oh it's heavy so and in practice and stuff when i play catch with it, it's definitely not too heavy so i do like that so yeah like comment subscribe to the channel guys uh, i got a new flawless coming in kind of go through a break-in process with you guys on it and uh kind of show you guys what i'm doing to break in this thing it's kind of taking a while a 2000s i usually get them broken in fairly quick this one's taking a little bit but that's okay i really like it and i just want to take my time i did loosen the wrist strap to the loose the biggest setting i have xl wrists xl hands so um yeah peace out guys